Let's get ready to rumble. You know, actually, I do that better than I thought I would, and it's funny, so I'm gonna leave it in. I promise not to be obnoxious the rest of the video. Today, guys, we're gonna do the top five semiconductor stocks. This is part of a series. In fact, I have a whole, whole playlist on the channel called The New Oil, Semiconductors and New Oil. So if you're interested in this category, go check out those videos. Now, last time, if you haven't seen that video, go check that out on the channel, but we covered stocks six through 10 in my top 10 semiconductor stocks. We covered one foundry, we covered a couple semiconductor equipment companies with different market caps, and we covered a couple fabless. I also gave you a high level overview of what the semiconductor industry is all about. We're gonna continue that today with my top five semiconductor stocks. You're gonna to wanna to see this one, stay tuned. What I always envision when I do these top stock videos is like, and now at Point Guard from North Carolina, you know, like one of those announcer type voices when you're doing the starting lineups for a basketball game. It reminds me of the old Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan. If you haven't watched those and you're younger, check them out, legendary stuff. But anyways, I digress. Now the first pick on the list just got a downgrade today. We're gonna to talk about what that stock is here in a second, but I wanna kinda of show you the importance of the automotive semiconductor segment. So you think of semiconductors, you got equipment, you got fabulous. You, you also have different companies that focus on different things from Internet of Things, 5G, electric vehicles, autonomous driving, things like that. So this is from Statistica, and it's showing us really the top manufacturers for market share worldwide. You'll see the number one that has 13.4% is Infineon, including Cypress. The next one is NXP. You can also see Texas Instruments. There's a lot of good companies on this list. Now the focus, number pick number five today, the fifth stock on my list, is going to be in the black here. It's NXP Semiconductor. Now coincidentally, this company is also based in the Netherlands, and if you watched the last video, pick number six, was ASML and that's also based in the Netherlands. So lots of good things in the semiconductor industry happening over there. Large cap, $56 billion. PE, a little bit more expensive, 37.27 PE ratio. Dividend yield, 1.07%. Now here's the thing, guys. It was just downgraded today. Piper Sandler cut NXP semiconductors to neutral from overweight. They dropped the price target from $235 to $210. So the analyst is Harsh Kumar that lowered the price target. And the quote here, once supply and demand hits parity, it will likely result in a slower pace of orders compared to the pace seen over the past couple of years. And what he's saying here basically is that the supply chain constraints helped them with their growth and that this is gonna slow down, that these trends are gonna start to reverse themselves in the second half of the year. So be aware of that, put it on your watch list. The reason I think it's an important company and it's my number five pick is because they're so focused on the electrification of vehicles, not only in autonomous vehicles, but just even like, a Honda CRV, which has more and more of those sensors and technology. So lane assist, telling me to break if I get too close to somebody and things like that. And you can see from this slide, 50% of their revenue is in automotive, but they also have 13% mobile, 16% communications, and 22% industrial and internet of things. They're saying here 75 billion plus connected devices by 2030. So if you're investing in this company, it's really a long-term investment. You're thinking five, you know, eight, 10 years from now, really that this company is gonna grow with a lot of these secular tailwinds. So 75 billion connected devices, 60% growth in electrified vehicles by 2030, and they're gonna be, be a big part of that. 50% L2 assisted driving cars by 2030, 60% of the world. So 5G to cover 60% of the world by 2026. AI semiconductor revenue, $75 billion by 2025 and smart home growth, 20% compound annual growth rate. So NXP guys is fifth on my top 10 semiconductor list. The reason it's there mostly is for vehicles. You think of autonomous vehicles, but even just regular vehicles, this Honda Civic or anything that you buy, those newer cars are gonna have more and more sensors, more and more semiconductors. And the more we go to fully autonomous, even more semiconductors are in those type of cars. So NXP is gonna be a big part of that future. Now, while I'm on that topic, guys, I did a video back in 2019. It was my top five autonomous driving stocks. That video is one of the top performing videos of all time on this channel since we started it back in May of 2019. And I'm thinking about revamping that or doing another version, an updated version of it. And that would include some semiconductor companies like NXP, but other stocks as well. If you're interested in me doing that video next, drop me a comment, let me know. There's some sleeper picks in there that you might wanna see, a couple that I've been pretty bullish on that I think could be really big in the future, let me know. Number four, this is actually a really tough call. 
and I'm going to give you three picks and I'm going to talk about those three and, and it's really going to be focused on semiconductor equipment. So I own Lamb Research. I like Lamb Research a lot. It's a semiconductor equipment company. There's also applied materials. We already talked about ASML, but if you look at the three, if you look at Lamb Research, applied materials and KLA, they're very similar in terms of size, growth, they kind of trade in lockstep. And we already covered ASML. So if you're gonna buy one of these, you'd probably pick one. You wouldn't necessarily own all three because they're very similar, or you might just have a semiconductor ETF. But I wanna talk specifically about these stocks so you understand what they do, and maybe you wanna pick one of them for your portfolio. So LAM Research and Applied Materials Processing Equipment. It really focuses on deposition and etch. It forms layers and patterns for those wafers, for those chips. Okay, so what's KLA? Inspection equipment that monitors these layers and patterns. So these are very different business models. Clack enables customers to locate defects, resolve those defects, improve manufacturing processes, increase their yield, increase time to market, the speed to market, and it really helps customers make more money. And making more money, of course, is a good thing if you're a business. It differentiates them a little bit because it makes the relationships a little bit more sticky. Because if you think about it, it's like the white knight, right? Hey, they're the ones like, hey, we found this issue that Lamb Research had. We're awesome. We're going to help you fix it and make things better. I just think it makes that relationship a little bit stickier and a little bit deeper for clientele. So check this chart. Semiconductor equipment revenue growth 2020 and 2021. KLA, 42.6%. Applied materials, 41.9%. LAM Research, 41.7%. We already covered ASML, you can see on there. There's also Tokyo Electron and some others. But if you look at those top three, that's what I'm focused on for this pick. You've got KLA, Applied Materials, LAM Research. They're all really close, very, very tight range within 1%, but KLA does lead the pack. Now, if you look at gross profit margin, you can see in this, this purple color, this is KLA, 60.27%. Applied Materials is 47.32%, and LAM Research is actually slightly, slightly dipping here at 46.19%. So this is substantial here. You got KLA rocking about a 15% higher profit margin than the other two. So again, I own LAM Research. That is my horse in the race, but I've had that stock since around 2012, and I've actually just crushed it with that stock. So if you don't own one of these stocks and you wanted to add one to your portfolio, my pick today would actually be KLA Corp. Curveballs, you know I like curveballs. Now I know what you're thinking, this video can't get any better than it already is. <laughs> but we got the top three stocks next. Number three guys is Marvel Technologies. This was a Discord buy, in fact, if you watch the channel, if you follow the channel back at the end of 2020, around November of 2020, I had a top five stocks for 2021. And Marvell, ticker MRVL, was one of those stocks on that list. It's up over 100%. It's been a good buy, and I think it has room to run. It actually got close to 100 hours, and it's pulled back, and it could be an opportunity here. So Marvell Technologies, lots going on here. This is going to be a fabulous. And I've got this sweet Investor Day deck. This is from October 6th virtual event. This deck, guys, is like 100 slides long. I'm not going to go through all of it, of course. But Cloud Optimized Silicon. Now, this is one of the reasons I like this stock. But they also do carrier information infrastructure automotive, which I think their automotive actually could be a huge part of their business as well as enterprise networking. Now I won't go into details here. I could get in the weeds and spend a lot of time and I won't do that, but they're really focused here on this cloud optimized solution, cloud A, cloud B. You can see software, firmware, there's a platform. And if you go to this next slide, cloud optimized goes mainstream. You can see from Reuters, Amazon, there's Baidu, there's Microsoft, Google, you know, Facebook AI, they're all using this, this for transcoding and things like that, this cloud optimized solution. It says, we are the essential silicon partner to the cloud. Expanding market opportunities. So last year to this year, you can see nice total addressable market, nice, nice little compound annual growth rate, 13%. This is a good slide talking about their opportunity by end market. So you can see data center, nice growth in there automotive, industrial, enterprise networking carrier. This is really focused, this company is gonna be focused on data center and automotive industrial. You look at this growth from 20 billion to 30 billion, you got 18.9 in there for cloud, 5G and auto, and then you've got 8.8 .8 billion here for enterprise, on-prem, wired and industrial. So their growth again is gonna be in that cloud, 5G and automotive. They call themselves the industry's pure play infrastructure company. If you look at this, 84% here in this blue is infrastructure and it, it compares some 
peers, 53%, 45 and 22% of the peers. So, you know, only 16% of their revenue mix is consumer. These guys have made some really impressive acquisitions and this company has been around for a while. The leadership's done a great job turning the company around. They sold some of the assets that they weren't as focused on to other companies and they've, they've acquired a couple of really important businesses. One of those gives these electro optics revolution. Now this gets really complex, really scientific. You can go on their website and spend hours, but really huge bandwidth demand inside and between cloud data centers. So not only in the cloud data centers, but connecting those data centers, leadership and technology, product market share, and massive opportunities ahead for PAM4, DSP, and ZR optics. When you think of the speed in the future, guys, you can't even comprehend how fast it'll be. And these guys are trying to get ahead of that curve. The next $1 billion ethernet market going into automotive, megatrends, autonomous, software defined, connected, secure, really cool stuff on here. And you look at the automotive ethernet ports and the growth, 39% compound annual growth rate from 2018 to 2016. They're gonna be a big part of this one as well. And I, I'm very bullish when you think of some of these companies that are gonna be focused on autonomous and just electric vehicles and, and more autonomy in vehicles overall. And you can see the list here, the ethernet adoption, there's every company imaginable on your screen fast growing automotive ethernet company. There's a few companies and I wanna do maybe another video that focuses on um, top autonomous stocks videos. So again, drop a comment below if you're interested in, in seeing that video. But they're doing a great job with the data center, with, with gaining market share. And I, I really like the enterprise focus, that 5G component, that cloud component, and the electric vehicles, autonomous vehicles, and just electrification of vehicles as a whole. They're doing some crazy good things. I'm just scrolling through some of these slides so you can see on your screen. I mean, go check this out if you want. It's on their website. Just go to uh, Marvel Technologies, check out the investor relations page, and you can find this deck on there. But there's a ton of really cool information on here. And you, like I said, you could spend hours and hours just going through. And I've, I've spent probably 20, 30 hours in the last, uh, I don't know, month or two, kind of just going through this again and, and making sure it's something I want to continue to hold long term. All the stocks on this top 10, all of them I think can do well over time. Marvel Technologies number three on my list. Can you guess what number two is? Now, these guys just want to deal working with Facebook or Meta to do their data centers for the metaverse. And I think you'll see more and more of that. You know, you think of metaverse, you, you focus so much on the gaming side of it and, and crypto and things like that. But really all that stuff, all of it needs semiconductors, that new oil for it to work. The last stock we just talked about, Marvell, they're definitely doing lots of great things in data center. AMD as well. You think of cloud network, hyperscale and supercomputing, 5G and comms, AI and analytics everywhere. You've got intelligent systems, autonomous driving, gaming, you know, AR, VR, smart client devices, edge. I mean, you name it. You name a secular growth trend. These fabulous stocks are going to be the fuel, the oil that makes the engine run. I probably don't need to spend much time on AMD. I think most of you guys know what AMD is all about. But you think of their TAM for data center, 35 billion. You got PCs, 32 billion for TAM. And then gaming, 12 billion for TAM. $79 billion is their total addressable market on this investor slide here. Our best ever product portfolio. And you think of all their Ryzen products, you think of Radeon, Semi Custom. They've got a lot going on. You think of cryptocurrency too. You always think of NVIDIA, but also AMD chips as well for processors and things like that. You got mobile processors. These guys have a lot of stuff going on, doing great things. And you probably know the leadership. You've probably heard the story before, but the CEO of AMD, Lisa Su, is actually related to Jensen Wong, who's the CEO of NVIDIA and our next stock pick. You probably already knew NVIDIA is going to be number one. If I didn't have it as number one, I don't even know what would happen. My channel would probably get disbanded or something. It would get deleted from, from YouTube. The stock has run pretty hard. I think there's a lot of room left. I just told you in the last video, you know, I said this was a buy early 2019. It was down, it was beat down in 2018. It was down 50%. I said it was a buy, it's up 700% since then. And I think they still have a lot of room to run. Excellent leadership. The people that work there want to work there for life. A lot of exciting technology. Let's look at a couple of the new things that you might not know about. So Omniverse, and you think of Omniverse, there's Metaverse, lots of cool stuff going on here. Megatron, so drug discovery, quantum computing, really cool stuff there. You can spend hours researching this stuff. You've got the Jarvis, you think of 5G AI, you've got the Drive Sim Hyperion 8. There's so much going on, autonomous driving. This is a huge play in the autonomous driving sector as well. I'm very bullish 
when you think of the, the future, the electrification of vehicles. So these, these three picks, especially Marvell and NVIDIA and even NXP, and there's a few other ones. I want to do a video that kind of goes through those top autonomous stocks. But when I think of NVIDIA, I think of so many things from gaming, cryptocurrency, you think of the metaverse. I mean, any secular growth trend that you can possibly think of from AI to autonomous driving, these guys have you covered. And data centers, some of the speed that they can deliver on these data center processors, absolutely just mind boggling some of the things they can do. You know, they're trying to acquire ARM and that might get turned down here. It talks about it a little bit, you know, creates premier compu computer company for the age of AI. All these great things they can do. Right now, it's going through antitrust and it may not get approved. The thing you have to know about about that though is that they do have a deep relationship with arm and they've worked with them a long time so it'd be great if they could actually own arm under their umbrella under their their belt so to speak but if not you know both companies will continue to do well and they do have a great partnership ai computing cloud 5g robotics i mean you can just go on and on and on so many great things about this company and i do have a video on the channel that compares nvidia to amd so if you want to take a look at that guys it's on the playlist Definitely check it out because it's good to kind of see the differences between those two companies. But just look at this. I get so excited talking about NVIDIA every time. Look at all the stuff that is this going on. I'm a complete technology nerd and I get so excited about disruptive innovation and technology. And a company like NVIDIA, it really allows you to touch all those different secular tailwinds with one company that's really the oil, the fuel behind all of it. So this, for me, this is a must own stock in any portfolio. Definitely check it out if you don't already own it. NVIDIA, ticker is NVDA. If semiconductors don't get you hyped up, I don't know what will. I hope this video was helpful. If you want me to do that top autonomous driving stocks video, drop a comment below. Make sure to hit the like button. It helps me out for the work I put into these videos. Supports the channel, helps the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notifications. Also check out the other platforms. Check out Patreon if you haven't already. Go follow me on Twitter. Look at that link in the bio on Twitter. Go click that link and you can see all the different opportunities that we have at Fired Up Wealth, both free and paid services to help you be a better investor and to achieve financial independence, financial freedom. Appreciate your time and attention. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.